Biggie. Uh, uh-huh. Uh, this goes out to you. This goes out to you and you. What's going on, guys? I am back. It has been a while. And I've actually got two um, two big hauls, two biggie hauls. So I am going to uh, split them up. One is all trades and a couple issues, and the rest is a bunch of issues, some real key stuff, some real key stuff. Um, so I'm going to start with the trades and put this up. Um, the university has a uh, yearly sale. It's called the Mun Book Sale. And basically everything there is as cheap as a dollar. And it, most expensive stuff, it's five bucks. Uh, it, it's all, the money goes to scholarships and things like that. Just fundraising. Uh, and it's just stuff people donated. So I always go see what they got. I always get good stuff there. I got lots of books, books, and... Uh, I, I show comics, but I was thinking maybe I'd show off, like, my books if anyone was interested in that. I'm a big reader, so uh, maybe sometime I'll show my collection of just novels. I have bookcases and bookcases full. <laughs> so anyway, to get into it, I pick this up uh, for $10. For $10, after I said. I got it for $2, uh, and it had price tags on it. Everything I got was either shrink wrapped or still had price tags on it brand new uh i paid two dollars for it uh charles burns black hole um if you don't know what it is and it looks familiar it uh it made a lot of noise was it last year because I, they announced i believe it was uh i believe it was brad pitt's uh, production company, if I am correct, I believe it was Brad Pitt's company, Plan B, bought the rights to it to uh, turn it into a movie. I haven't heard much about it since then. Um, I've never read it, though, and I've always wanted to buy it, and it's a really expensive book. Uh, well, I, I, I say it's really expensive. I mean, it's $34.95 Canadian. So, uh, to get it, brand new tags on it for two bucks, I will not complain about that. Uh, definitely gonna dig into it. Uh, then, what should we show next? All of these trades I'm about to show you, I got for two dollars, and they were all brand new. So, next, I will show off, I got, uh, let's see if that'll... I don't know how the uh, the light's looking there. I got Challengers of the Unknown Must Die. This is the um, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale mini that they did. Uh, this is still in the wrap. That's why the glare was so bad. And if you can see, $24.95 price tag on it. Still sealed, paid $2 for it. So I was excited about that. Uh, this still had the price tag on it. This is uh, Ultimate Electra. This is still in the wrap as well. Um, sorry about the glare. There. Uh, still in the wrap with like a $14.99 price tag. This is Ultimate Electra. Um, this is the Hoy. It was only a mini, I think. So pick that up for two bucks. Then uh, this was still in the wrap for $25. I got Tales of the New Gods. Um, and from my understanding, this is just a collection of, uh, of different uh, artists like Jim Lee, Frank Miller. It says on the cover there, uh, John Byron, um, just doing their take on Tales of the New Gods. And I don't believe... Yeah, I believe this is all original. This isn't, uh, this isn't, uh, what am I trying to say? Issues. And I've actually never read any New God stuff, so that is kind of cool to get. Then I picked up, uh, The Ultimate Volume 1, uh, Superhuman. I picked this up for $2. I've never read The Ultimates, uh, so I'm very interested in trying that out. Uh, one I've been always mean to buy and I just never do, but got it for two bucks brand new, was Kingdom Come. Alex Ross is probably one of my favorite artists. Um, 
I was a big fan of Justice. Uh, I have the Kingdom, all that series in singles. Uh, so I was really excited to get this for two bucks. This will probably be the first thing I dig into and read. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, then I picked up Year One, uh, Batman, the Frank Miller uh, book. I uh, picked this up for two bucks. I don't overly buy Batman uh, in trades, so I I always I'm up for reading more Batman. So for two dollars, can't go wrong. Then uh, I was really pumped to get this for two bucks because I've really wanted to buy it and I just never do. And that is uh, Brian Azariello's Joker, uh, the hardcover. I don't know if it comes to anything else other than the hardcover. But uh, I got that for two bucks as well, so I wasn't going to complain about that. And then last on the trades, uh, which was I was pretty pumped about because it was a $35 trade, and I got it brand new for two bucks, was I got the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, the Omnibus Edition. Uh, I've never read any. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but I've always wanted to, so what better way than with the Omnibus? So I was excited for that. And then I did pick up a couple single issues. Uh, I always see what they have. They never have anything like crazy, but they're usually only a buck and it goes to a good cause. So I picked up uh, The Tick, uh, issue number one for a buck. This is the uh, ninth printing. Uh, I try to look for it on comic book round the market down and they only have up to eighth printing So if you know where to find it on comic book round to check it off, please tell me uh, Then I picked up uh, X-Men Unlimited issue number four for a dollar all these issues were a dollar uh, The importance of this is they reveal the identity of Mystique as Nightcrawler's uh, mother so that was pretty uh, pretty cool to get. And then grab some Uncanny X-Men. You can never go wrong with Uncanny X-Men for a buck. So uh, I got issue number 424. Great Wolverine cover. Can't complain about that. Then we have issue... I said 424. That was 423. This is issue 424. Uh, so this is the holy, the holy war. That was part one. This is part two. Another great cover. Uh, and then I got uh, this one had a big crease in the cover, but I'm alright that with that. Uh, Uncanny X Men issue number four twenty eight. Uh, great uh, Nightcrawler cover. The importance of this book is it is the first appearance of uh, Isaiah. Azazel, I never know how to say his name, Azazel, who is uh, Nightcrawler's father, uh, who, like I explained with Unlimited X-Men, is the one that uh, got Mystique pregnant and is the father of Nightcrawler. So that is all I got for uh, at the Mun book sale. Uh, like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Comment, I always write back. I always say I love to have conversations with you. Um, what else? What else? Um, and yeah, let me know what other kinds of videos. Like, are some of you guys interested in in the actual just novels and stuff? Because uh, I'd love to talk about that kind of stuff. I do have another haul video coming out. This is... Uh, what I'm waiting to do next. So after I put this out, I'm going to do this one, a little preview. Uh, so yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. This was quick. I'm actually on my way to the book sale. It's the last day. And if you're a student on the last uh, hour and a half, it's all the books you want for free. So I'm about to get my science fiction books on. Salou, thank you for watching as always. And hope, uh, hope to see you at the next video.